Well, workers have started the second phase of the Starry Stonewort removal process on Turtle Lake near Bemidji. Mel Meyer has more from Turtle Lake Township. The invasive species was first found by Beltrami County officials. Once the algae species was confirmed, a net was put in place to contain the area around the public boat access to prevent the spread. When the species gets in it, um, it starts colonizing, it can create some very dense mats which make it difficult for recreation, um, difficult for fish to swim through, and they push out the native plants, uh, which we don't want to happen. Now, workers are using equipment to suck up the water and plant matter through a hose connected to a big white bag. When the water drains through it, the plant water will remain trapped inside to be disposed of later. We're hopeful that it gets most of it, but only time will tell what, what will all be removed. According to the DNR, Starry Stonewort has not been successfully completely removed in any other bodies of water. To prevent the spread, boaters should use extra precaution. The best thing that anybody can do is just take extra time before you launch your boat or after you pull your boat out before you leave the access. Um, go through your trailer, you know, get underneath there if you can, find any plant fragments that might be on there, remove them. Um, if you can let your boat dry for five days, that's great. Now the next step of the process will be to add a copper-based herbicide to the area that will help kill off any remaining plant matter and fragments. At Turtle Lake, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources provides free boat decamination, de decontaminations at 62 sites across the state. You can find the nearest location on the DNR's website. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.